the station that's working for you. You're watching Fox 4 News at 5. Now more than ever, Americans are taking a hard look at their finances and working to make every dollar count. Yeah, tonight we're working for you with some real solutions being used by real people learning how to get more from their money right here in the Metro. Fox 4's Stephanie Hockridge has our first case history of pinching pennies and improving financial health. Stephanie? Well, turning a financial fiasco into financial freedom, that's exactly what the Neal family is trying to do. With the help of financial experts, they're spending the year building financial stability. It's all a part of Community America Credit Union's financial makeover competition that has a $10,000 prize for the family that makes the most improvement. Now, halfway through the contest, we check in with the Neals to find out what they've learned. You pay my bills, you pay my telephone bills, you pay my automobiles, then maybe we could chill. We live in a world full of credit card debt, overdue balances, and bills, bills, and more bills. And the Neal family can certainly attest to that. For years, they've been living the same financial nightmare many Americans face in these difficult economic times. Now, in the past, we're like, okay, well, we're going to save this one until later on in the month and hope that we have the money to pay for it then. Okay, then we're going to move this one to that end and just kind of, you know, you kind of had to be... um creatively budgeting all the time. Less, less. Nicole Neal and her husband Dan admit that they were living paycheck to paycheck, trying to make ends meet while raising their precious seven-year-old twins, Allison and Jackson. <laughs> we first met up with the Neal family in February. And I brought all of our logins. They were just beginning the financial makeover process and learning what to do, what not to do, and what needed to change. First things first, fixing their communication conundrum. Well, I was oblivious before. Well, I mean, I just... She, I just wait for her to tell me to stop spending. I wouldn't tell him what was going on because I didn't want to upset him. I didn't want to stress him out. Communication is a big area that I see a lot of families struggle from the get-go. Both Timothy Blake and Jason Armstrong are coaching Team Neal into financial freedom, and they agree success depends on both spouses being in the know and having similar goals. If we could have that communication and everyone's pulling in the same direction, um, I've we've been able to find it's uh, we're, we're making a lot of progress in a short period of time and progress is key but Blake says in order for the Neils to get there they need to establish an emergency fund with a one thousand dollar balance having a little money in, in a savings account or an emergency fund makes a lot of problems go away and it relieves a lot of stress something the Neils have already learned firsthand when we met back up with them in late April they told us for the first time they put their tax return to good use and used it to fund their emergency savings we really started our account and actually did you know do some extra um, thinking before we actually started just throwing around money like rock stars yeah. Dan says that emergency fund immediately came in handy when faced with a series of car repairs. We were able to pay with cash, and in the past, I guarantee you, we would have been paying with a credit card. We are in so much better shape now because truly we probably would have just kept slipping down slower and just kept using a credit card and opened up another credit card. And while the emergency fund will certainly keep the family's finances on track, the Community America coaches explain the Neals need to address the biggest drain on their finances. The eating out, that's phenomenal, guys. Dan and Nicole admit it's really easy to just grab a sandwich here and a small snack there, but say they never realize those small purchases really add up to a big chunk of change. So in order to stop the overspending, they adopted Blake's simple one-question guilt test. Is this a need or is this a want? When it comes to a dinner, do we really need to go out for dinner tonight or, you know, do we want, want to go out for dinner? Well, normally you can eat at home, so you don't need to go out for dinner. And eating at home is something the Neal family has learned to accept. Cheese bread, cheese bread. We cooked on Sunday, and we cooked like chicken, or we cooked hamburger, and then I would just divide it up throughout the weeks, and um, we got little lunch packages, and if you put your keys on it in the refrigerator, you can't leave without it. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, the Neals agree it's all common sense. Stop spending and start saving. Just making that step. I mean, it's not a hard step. It's just actually commit, committing yeah. to it. and Being disciplined. Can you pay my bills? It feels better than, you know, okay, all the bills are paid, and we're still okay, and we're sitting on top. Well, the Neils say they are well on their way to financial recovery in 2009 and plan to celebrate their success by putting a down payment on a new home in 2010. Stephanie Hawkridge, Fox 4 News.